the fun of uh, of McLeod, well, first of all, it started as a one-hour show. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the four-in-one was over, they chose a couple to go forward with. One was Night Gallery, which is Rod... Uh, Serling. Serling. And the other one was McLeod. And I had done one episode of McLeod, I mean, writing it, and they gave it to uh, Dean Hargrove. And he did it as part of the NBC mystery movie, which was called, I think, the Wednesday Night Movie. And um, he took a different tack with the show. He took a tack where McLeod was kind of would sit around headquarters and they would just send the kooks to him. He would talk to people with funny hats. And uh, my feeling was that if you're going to do it, they, they really should do it if, is if you had John Wayne or Clint Eastwood in New York. And they wouldn't want to give him the time of day because they, I, don't, I don't want to be bothered with a, a guy who came from Taos to learn big city techniques. So they, they would not assign him anything, but he would horn his way into you know, the big murder in Manhattan and walk in. And if he asked, they had him asking all kinds of questions. They really had him doing Columbo because Lincoln Levinson had created Columbo and D Dean Hargrove had worked on Columbo. So he would be standing around the door and saying, yeah, golly, I just kind of wonder. Well, he was doing Chester from Gunsmoke. What he should have been doing is asking if it's one question, it's the right question. And it would propel him to the next stage of the episode. Now, this kind of started a career uh, ammo for me. And... Uh, you recall, you know, as, I, as a kid, I would watch sitcoms and I'd watch dramas and so forth. I developed sort of a, a style that isn't sitcom. I call it predicament humor. You don't do anything that uh, cuts your star off at the knees or worse. You, you make him intelligent. You, you give him great ideas and great things to do. But sometimes things happen, circumstances go wrong, and if he's out there with a police car he had to commandeer, uh, something goes wrong with it, and the chief is yelling at him the next moment, and pretty soon something. By the by, the time you get to Act Four, he comes in with a steering wheel from his third car, you know, and 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 you know he's in trouble, but the audience is looking forward to it, and I I found that if you could find a way to put a little humor in, 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 in a lot of these shows, it, it elevated them a little bit more to what, to what we expect from movie making when you get into detective shows and things like that. There's more style in it. And I enjoyed that and it served me very well uh, later when I wanted to do a concept that everyone had tried. And Frank Price told me he had tried to develop eight times and he wanted to do huge, huge things, you know, Gandhi and Stripes and all those things as, as head of Columbia and all that. He said, you'll, you'll have a hard time licking that, that concept. And it was also going to be put into the mystery movie. And the concept turned out to be Quincy. We'll get to Quincy a little bit later. But I'm, I'm yeah. just telling the chronology of how it's humor that made it possible to do a show about dead bodies.